After 186 days orbiting the Earth, British astronaut Tim Peake, Russian Yuri Malenchenko and American Timothy Kopra are back on Earth. They sat in chairs while doctors ran medical tests to check their blood pressure and heart rates. The zero gravity conditions in space has weakened their bodies, but they're happy to be home after an extraordinary adventure. Just the smells of, uh, of Earth are so strong. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just wonderful to be back, the fresh air. Really good. Final farewells and handshakes. Uh... Earlier, the crew of Expedition 47 said a final farewell to their friends and colleagues on the International Space Station. They then boarded the Soyuz spacecraft to start their journey home. Undocking confirmed at 12.52 a.m. Central Time, 1.52 a.m. Eastern Time, as uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station flew 254 miles over far eastern Mongolia. During its descent to Earth, the capsule traveled at 25 times the speed of sound, causing the temperature outside to soar to 1,600 degrees Celsius. Once the Soyuz reached an altitude of 10.7 kilometers above the Earth's surface, its parachute opened to slow its descent. It's been described as rather rougher than, than launch, uh, and that bumpy ride continues all the way to the ground, really, about uh, 10 kilometers above the ground. The, parachute opens to slow them right down and uh, then the very last bit is a little rock another retro rocket fires to slow it down again but it's still described as being like a slow motion car crash the soyuz is home touchdown confirmed at uh, 4 15 a.m central time 3 15 p.m at the landing site in kazakhstan tim copra tim peak and yuri malenchenko are back on earth after 186 days in space the three astronauts carried out hundreds of scientific experiments during their time on the ISS. They're also an inspiration to millions of children around the world to find out more about science and space. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.